This is Texas Pete TV restaurant tour stop in New York City. There is something special about Blue Smoke, a down-home barbecue restaurant just off New York's Posh Park Avenue. It was the first barbecue restaurant in Manhattan to prepare and sell real pit-cooked barbecue. The brainchild of New York's top restaurateur, Danny Meyer, the menu incorporates the best of America's barbecue flavors. Executive chef Kenny Callahan can take credit for helping to bring barbecue to the Big Apple and doesn't mind competition for new barbecue restaurants coming to town. All boats rise with the tide, so uh, the more the merrier. I don't see it as a competition or, you know, the, the city has, you know, eight or nine million people in it and there's plenty to go around for everybody. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm happy that barbecue's popping up all over uh, New York. Feeding the frenzy for country barbecue keeps Kenny's kitchen staff hopping. We're different than any other barbecue restaurant in the fact that we make everything from scratch. Here. I mean, all the cookies, we're baking like eight different types of bread here every day. We're spinning our own ice cream, so nothing comes out of a can here. You know, that's why you can, you can tell the difference. And, uh, you know, in, in what we do is compared to most barbecue restaurants that open up cans. Uh, we got a whole hog just came out of the oven. It's some nice uh, fresh bacon right here. Look at that. Look how nice and tender that is. Delicious. Callahan uses hickory and apple wood to slow smoke his meats. Six to seven hours for baby back ribs. 17 hours for a whole hog. And we just got to try and keep up with the demand. But, uh, but most of my cooks come in here early, right around uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock, and then the last cook will leave uh, probably around uh, 1.30 in the morning. On every table, along with Blue Smoke's own secret barbecue sauce, is Texas Pete. It's also an ingredient to many of his menu favorites. You got any uh, Texas Pete cornbread guys coming out today? Yeah. Good. Delicious. We'll get a piece of that later. Yeah. I'm a big hot sauce fan, and I just... Uh, you know, once I taste it, I was like, wow, it's got a nice little twang to it, a good amount of heat, nice little balance. Um, so I was just kind of drawn to it and it just made sense. So now I've incorporated it into a lot of the recipes that I have and I just put uh, TP, you know, a, qu a quarter teaspoon of TP. And, and you know, the, the new cooks, they'll look at the recipe like, what's TP? Is that toilet paper? I'm like, that's <laughs> Texas Pete. It could be anything from, uh, you know, a, a bit of, uh, you know, hot sauce for Texas Pete and a salad dressing or a vinaigrette for a piece of fish. I mean, it's just, uh, it's somewhat, it's very versatile actually. And, uh, you know, so I kind of just like to incorporate, uh, you know, when I'm coming up with new ideas or new dishes or flavor profiles, I'm always a little thinking, you know, salty, sweet, sour, heat. And, you know, when, when you think about the heat element, a little dash of Texas Pete is perfect for that. So next time you're in the Big Apple, don't miss a chance for some down-home cooking at Blue Smoke, just off Park Avenue. For Texas Pete, I'm Trinity Lancaster.